A good e-reader can help you take your favorite books on the go and discover new favorites. They can hold hundreds of titles and get you access to upcoming releases the day they launch. E-readers are also great space savers because they make it easier to take your library on the go. Below, we've rounded up our favorite e-readers to help you shop. So, without further ado, let's begin. Number 5. Kobo Ellipsa 2e The Kobo Ellipsa 2e wins here for a few simple reasons. The IT offers a bit more open ecosystem than a Kindle, with plenty of file and font support, plus the usual Kobo perks of Dropbox connectivity to transfer your notes and ebooks wirelessly, OverDrive support to borrow library ebooks, and the baked in pocket app to read long form web articles offline. Its 10.3 inch screen is great for reading, particularly if you're into comics and graphic novels, albeit displayed in black and white. And an upgraded processor means it's a lot faster and more responsive than its predecessor. We're replacing the original Kobo Ellipsa with the new model on our best e-reader list for that reason. Our only gripe with the new Ellipsa 2e is that it no longer ships with a sleepover like the older model did, meaning you're spending a little extra to ensure the redesigned Kobo Stylus 2, which is also better than the older pen Kobo made, is stowed away securely at all times. Number 4. Amazon Kindle Paperwhite Thanks to its water-resistant design and crisp, bright e-ink display, the basic Kindle 2022 is catching up fast, but the Paperwhite's 6.8-inch display is a great size for reading on as compared to a 6-inch tablet. We like the adjustable warm light for reading in the dark, and the slim design with a flat face is appealing and easy to read. At launch, this only had 8 GB of storage, but in 2022, Amazon added a 16 GB model to the mix, making it all the more desirable. Or you can shell out for the 32 GB Paperwhite Signature Edition if you have the cash to spare. The Signature Edition also adds wireless charging, a unique e-reader feature. We don't think that's necessary though, so we rate the standard Paperwhite higher once you factor in the price. Even the standard Paperwhite is a little pricey for a Kindle, but perhaps a refreshed model will see more features added without the price hiking up, thus adding more value for money. Particularly if you're already embedded in Amazon's ecosystem, aka already subscribed to Kindle Unlimited and Audible. Number 3. Kobo Clara 2e The Kobo Clara 2e gets the latest e Ink Carta 1200 screen tech, plus doubles the internal storage space to 16 GB as compared to the older Clara HD. Where the predecessor had no waterproofing, the 2e carries an IPX8 rating, so you can read in the bath or the pool and not worry too much. Kobo says the body is made out of recycled plastic, 85% of it to be precise, 10% of which were ocean-bound plastics. It was the first eco-conscious e-reader to hit shelves. Other updates over the older model include the now standard USB-C charging port and Bluetooth connectivity, so you can listen to audiobooks, albeit only those purchased from the Kobo store. All the other usual Kobo perks are here, adjustable light temperature, overdrive support for library books, wide font and file support, and a very streamlined user interface that makes it easy to navigate through the device's features. While we found the battery life a little inconsistent, it could just have been teething issues on our review device only, or easily fixable via a firmware update. Overall though, it's a huge upgrade over the older Clara HD and worth every penny if you're after a very portable and capable e-reader that isn't caught up in a closed ecosystem like Amazon's. Number 2. Amazon Kindle. Best e-reader for tight budgets. It took Amazon about 5 years to update the base Kindle model, but what a fantastic upgrade the 2022 edition is. A different blue color than the usual black is an option, and like the Kobo Clara 2e is partially made from recycled plastics. Design refresh aside, the screen is way better now than the older Kindle models, with the latest e Ink Carta 1200 tech adding snappier responses, clarity, and more. However, there's still no way to change light hues here, and it also misses out on any kind of waterproofing. We also found that the smooth rear panel makes the 2022 Kindle a little insecure in the hand, and you'd likely want a case to get some grip. Plus, the 6-inch screen could be too small for anyone who likes the font size on the larger side, which means you're turning pages quite often, eating into the battery life. Still, the small size makes it very portable indeed. While we think the waterproofing and the additional features of any Kobo e-reader make the Clara 2e a more worthwhile option for a small-sized e-reader, the Kindle is cheaper in comparison, and it would be remiss of us to leave it out of this buying guide. Number 1. Kobo Libra 2 The Kobo Libra 2 is still the best overall e-reader you can get because it offers great bang for your buck. 
It's a fantastic all-around champion that should be your first port of call when buying an e-reader. While the snappy and super responsive e-ink Carta 1200 screen is now available on several readers, the Libra 2 performs better than the competition released at around the same time. You get tons more storage as the default is 32 GB here, something most other mainstream leaders don't offer. The screen refreshes super fast and the huge battery lasts weeks on end. We also love the asymmetric design with the page turn buttons. These kinds of readers are comfortable to hold and use in one hand, making the likes of the Kobo Libra too perfect for the daily commute. The 7-inch screen is the sweet spot in terms of size. Not too small, not too big, and perfectly portable. IPX8 waterproofing rounds up its physical characteristics. Adding to its value for money outlook is the fact that, in several markets, you can borrow books from a local library that supports overdrive, saving you the cost of having to buy new ebooks. Kobo devices also can read more file types, including the popular EPUB format that Kindle can't handle natively and you can sideload more fonts onto a Kobo without any issues, including Amazon's fonts like Bookerly.